In a previous video, I looked at what happens if you lose power in a vehicle that has electric door handles. Are you stuck? Are you trapped? And I specifically called out Tesla. And I said a lot of Tesla's vehicles don't have manual releases in the back seat. While the comment section, they called me out. But who was right? When researching for my previous video, I specifically looked at the emergency response guide, ERG, because I thought if there's going to be information on the manual release for these doors, it would be in there. And it is for the front doors, but they show nothing for the rear doors. And that's one area where I'm going to call out Tesla. That information should be in the emergency response guide. It's critical for first responders. After doing additional research, I found out that many of these Tesla vehicles do have a manual release for the back doors but it's not every vehicle. And after talking to a lot of different Tesla owners, I found out most of them had no idea that release even existed back there. I'll go through each model of Tesla and we'll talk about where these releases are and if they do or do not exist. Starting with the Model Y, if you look in the actual manual for the vehicle, it shows the manual release in the door pocket where you have to remove a piece of rubber and then there's a little red tab and you can pop that out accessing the cable to open the door. Unfortunately, when you look at the manual, specifically right here, it states that not every Model Y will have this feature. And in practice, when that feature exists, it's very easy to access. You simply grab a hold of this piece of rubber right in the center, pull it out, and then you can pop this open. You can see the little white tab to pull on this cable. Fairly easy setup. I do have a problem with this because you think about a lot of vehicles, especially if you have young kids, how much garbage can actually be jammed in that door pocket, making it very difficult to access that release if there's an emergency. On top of that, not every Model Y has this feature. This specific Model Y, manufactured in 2020, is very difficult to access. This plug, I can't get it out of the door pocket with just my fingers. I had to get a screwdriver, and even with that screwdriver, it took a little bit of time. It was difficult. Now, the emergency release was underneath this panel. It just took some time to access. The Model S is set up a little bit differently. This one, the manual releases are actually behind a little piece of carpet in the center of the seat, kind of on the front face of that seat. Looking at the manual, it seems very easy to access, and in practice, it's fairly easy to access as well. This vehicle's from 2016, and the cable's there. But again, the owner of this vehicle has owned it for eight years and had no idea that safety release even existed. And that can be a problem, especially if there's an emergency situation. The safety release on the Model X, that's hidden quite well. In fact, you actually have to pull the speaker grill off in order to expose the cable releasing the door. That's something that you would never find unless you actually knew it existed. And in an emergency situation, a lot of times it's muscle memory. It's very difficult to remember certain details when you're in that fight or flight mode. The one that's really concerning to me is the Model 3. And if you look at the manual, it shows it very similar to the Model Y. It shows it in the bottom of that door pocket. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like every single vehicle has it. And there's nothing denoting that in the manual. So here I am with a Model 3 that was manufactured in 2022. And you can see in this pocket, there's nothing there. There are no signs of any panels that can be removed to look for some type of manual release. And I decided to take this one step further. I decided to actually remove the door panel, see what's behind the door panel, see if I can find some type of manual release that way. So I got some tools and I started taking things apart. Side note, this vehicle is going to be on fire in about 24 hours. And after I removed the entire panel, I looked around, it's solid plastic. There is no manual release whatsoever for the rear door of this vehicle. Turns out I might be wrong. While editing this footage, I noticed this cable right in this area here. Now this could be a manual door release for the Model 3. I don't know for sure, but realistically, does it really matter? You need to remove two screws, the entire door panel. That's not happening in an emergency situation. So I don't count this as an emergency release for this specific vehicle. I was originally going to leave the Cybertruck out of this video because there's just a lack of information on that vehicle. There's no emergency response guide posted to Tesla's website, and their manual isn't available either. However, a big thanks to T-Sportline. They posted the entire Cybertruck manual to their YouTube channel. And in there, it shows that the manual release for the rear doors is very similar to the Model Y and the Model S. It's in the rear door pocket. 
where there's just a little access panel to pop open and you can grab that cable. Since the Cybertruck is a newer vehicle and it's only manufactured at one facility so far, I would expect this to be on every single Cybertruck that's out there. Now, every single Tesla has a very intuitive manual release on the front doors. But the rear doors, it's really a crapshoot. Some vehicles have them, some vehicles don't. And some vehicles are advertised as having them per the manual. And they're not there. And when you think about who's in the rear seat of a vehicle, they're not typically the owner of that vehicle. If there's some type of emergency situation, they're not likely to be familiar with that vehicle where the manual release is. If it's an emergency situation, even if they are familiar with that, they're going to be in panic mode. They're not necessarily going to be thinking about where these manual releases are. And it's going to be very challenging for them to be able to exit that vehicle, depending on their physical fitness, their size, and their age. So there's a lot of factors that play into this. Child locks was one concern that was brought up in the comments, saying it was basically the same thing as electric doors. You're still trapped. But it's really not the case. Because with a child lock, a first responder, a bystander, you can break the glass, unlock the door, then open the door, all from the outside of the vehicle. So try to compare an electronic door without power to a traditional door with child locks on, it's really not the same. Even though many of these vehicles do have the safety release, I still think it's a safety concern for these vehicles just because of the placement on where the manual release cables are. If you own a Tesla, I highly recommend familiarizing yourself with the location of all the manual releases for the doors. That way, again, if there is an emergency situation, you have a better chance at getting out. If you want to learn more about electric doors in general on all vehicles, not just electric vehicles, not just Teslas, click this link right here.